Welcome pen friends. Today we're shooting the breeze with the Visconti Breeze. And we're gonna be taking a look at this pen. This is a new entry level model from Visconti. It has a wonderful array of different colors. We're gonna take a look at all of those. We're also going to be talking about all the details that go into this pen and the pen's design. And we're also gonna be looking at the new Visconti improved stainless steel nib. So we're gonna be doing a writing sample as well as a nib comparison of the three nib grades that go with this pen. So let's take a look at the breeze. Visconti has a long-standing tradition of crafting luxury writing instruments in a variety of colorful, unique Italian resins that elevate their pens to pieces of art. In 2019, Visconti introduced the Breeze Collection with six new refreshing and vibrant colors in fountain pen and rollerball modes. If you're familiar with Visconti pens, the profile of the pen may remind you of the Rembrandt series. We'll get to show the differences later in the model comparison. Besides colorful swirling resins, the next striking detail about this pen is the engraved band on the barrel. Most pen designs feature a decorative band on the cap of the pen. Here Visconti switches it up with the word breeze repeated three times around the band in alternating capital letters. Now here's my own personal interpretation of Visconti's artistic choice in decorating the band in such a way. The pen's entry-level price point, coupled with the fact that the pen is available in a variety of different bright colors, mean that this pen is targeted towards a younger demographic. The kids out there that are in their early 20s, they know their internet speak and they know their memes. The alternating caps writing is tied to a mocking Spongebob meme where somebody would intentionally mock someone by repeating their serious statement in an upper and lower case alternating caps sort of way. And it's also coupled with the Spongebob pick, which we'll show here. Is Visconti throwing shade on themselves by deliberately mocking their finer pens like the Rembrandt and coming out with this breeze? Let us know in the comments below, and onward now to the rest of the review. At least the iconic Visconti art clip that you've come to love or hate is still lettered in the traditional uppercase serif font style. It is also a spring-loaded clip that comes up over the top end of the cap. The tension of the clip is noticeably tighter than the Visconti Van Gogh or Rembrandt clips. Removing the Breeze's magnetic cap will reveal a resin grip section and Visconti's improved number no. 5 size stainless steel nib. The new nib design has no breather hole. The nib size is identifiable by reading the letter designation below the engraved Visconti brand mark or by looking at the number of circles above the name. One circle is fine, two medium, three broad. The Breeze accepts an international style converter, which is included, or international size ink cartridges, which are not included with the pen at the time of purchase. Let's compare the Breeze with other Italian-made swirly acrylic resin fountain pens, including the aforementioned Visconti Rembrandt. The magnetic cap posts securely by friction fit on the back end of the barrel. Although there is a small metal disc on the end of the barrel, it does not interact with the cap's magnetism, so it is purely decorative. The light weight of the vegetal resin feels easy to hold, even with the cap posted. The resin grip section would be an improvement for those who take issue with the metal grip section on the Visconti Van Gogh and Rembrandt models. However, the section is a bit undersized and tapers toward the nib, not really offering much of an area for fingers to hold. If you do post your pen caps on the back, and the lip of the cap would usually rest on your hand between your index finger and thumb, you might feel the step of the cap as you write. It's a minor detail, but I'm sure one that you would appreciate knowing before taking the plunge on this pen. The new and improved Visconti nibs are pleasant writers from the very start. 
All three sizes provide a wet flow of ink without any hard starting or skipping. The fine has a bit of feedback but provides a tight, controlled line. The medium and broad nibs are ideal for those who prefer writing with a smoother nib and seeing the depth of ink on paper. From the pens we sampled and tested for this review and demonstration, we could find no flaws in craftsmanship that escaped quality control. Of course, if there were any, we would work with Visconti to make it right for you. The Visconti Breeze is now available at goldspot.com in fountain pen and rollerball pen modes. At $120 retail price for the fountain pen, the Breeze is the most approachable entry-level Visconti pen in their lineup. So we hope that you enjoyed uh, taking a look at the Visconti Breeze and tell us what you think in the comments below. Subscribe for all the latest and greatest in fine writing. And as always, stay inky my friends, take care.